next character. Let's do... What the fuck is it? I said his name earlier. Purple Suit Man. So wait, so wait. So wait. He's a guy. He sure is a man. <laughs> he he has one funny, one whole funny, and otherwise he's just kind of like a like a weird kind of racisty, even like Indian salesman stereotype. Huh? Where we where we put like, this yeah. dude? Like like the dot on his head, that it's it, it it just it just I don't know rubs me in the wrong way. I would put him. I don't. I really don't think that was intentional because that's not a thing here. But it's possible that it's not intentional, but it just you know. I don't like him just, though. Just uh. Yeah, I feel like I feel like really low C is fair. Uh, he had we one. Might fight. put Robert yeah. Hammond. I might have to put this, drag this guy down to the J tier because we really don't know shit about this dude. Honestly, uh, do we do we want to just retroactively do that real fast? It's not yeah, gonna change because, anything like, else. This guy frankly. is weird. I don't like. We let's I, put this man back yeah. here. I just we, we know putting him the... here with like people we know have personalities. Yeah. Um. All right. Now we have to do what the fuck is Glasses Man name? What the hell is his name? What the hell? This Ray? Guy? Yeah, that one. What, what's his name? Oh my god, what's his I, name? <laughs> I love how his oh. actual like like his bit is that no one can remember who he is, and we genuinely can't remember who he is. I, 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 I'm, I'm drawing a blank. I'm drawing a blank. I was thinking of his. I was thinking of his name earlier, that but guy. now it's just gone. Okay. He's some guy. I know his name, but it's funnier I... that you don't know it. <laughs> I put Mr. Gray Suitman just above Gregory, like a little bit. Really? He's kind of just like a guy. It's like a dude. He had he had a funny. He had a funny. What but was the funny? This, like, what it, the, the, his whole funny is that you can't remember who he is. No, he also loses his hair, too. There's two characters that lose their hair in these games. That'd be Sawit and this guy. I mean... I, I, okay, he had I, will, I will agree, because just because the fact that... The, the whole fact that he... Like, his bit is that no one can remember who he is. And the fact that you genuinely can't remember who he is is fucking sending me. <laughs> it worked. It. it fucking worked. I was thinking about it not more than ten minutes ago, and it is it's gone. Reduced to fucking atoms. Yeah, that's his, well, that's uh, what his presence right. will do to you. His name was Winston Page, by the way. Let's do the last non-main character, which would be uh uh, it's, uh cowboy guy's brother, whose name I'm forgetting off the top of my head. What is it again? Uh, Shit. fucking, what was his name? Actually, we forgot this guy, the fucking, uh, Bellboy. Oh, yeah, Bellboy. He's cute. Excuse That's my only me? opinion of him. I think he's cute. Me I, alone. I don't. Not, not, really not my time. Alright. I, 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 I love a man, A, in uniform, B, a twink, and C, Loves his job, even if it is like one of the worst jobs he could ever have. So fucking hard, he just magically becomes the manager. And also, yeah, he I might do be dead. The hustle, yeah, like he might, he might also be dead. We don't know. Yeah, they uh, the killer might have like stabbed him to take his <laughs> clothes. Like we don't know what happened. He, to him. he <laughs> might just be dead. And honestly, that kind of it's R it's R weird to say. It's weird to say, it elevates him a little bit. <laughs> yeah, like, like kind of, don't speak ill of the dead kind of thing. Uh, what, what, yeah, what, I, are you, what is your opinion on him? Because I, I thought, I thought this man was pretty annoying, to be honest, but, uh, you, you got to say, you got to say first. He's cute. He's a twink. I like, I like his hairstyle. He might be dead. I would put him maybe right up 
uh, red, white for the sake of compromise. You know what? You know what? I'm f I'm I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Fair. fair All fair. right. Because me personally, I'd put him above Cody. Uh, yeah. Well, I, yeah, I'll, I'll put him there. I'm fine with him being here because. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. Uh, compromise. Woo! Yeah, I, I, I get it. Like, I, I respect the hustle. I do find it incredibly, like, like, damn, bro, that he went from bellboy to manager just because, like, there is no other person, there is no bellboy who's that, like, dedicated to their own hotel. The, the man, oh, yeah, the man knows what great. he wants and he got it. But also, again, I think he, I think, I think he's hot. I don't know how he's not your type. To me, he is everything I want. Yeah. Listen, listen, you're gonna find out throughout these games that my type is pretty pretty weird and not 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 something you wanna know. Honey, I already know. I already know. That's kinda of why I was shocked that you didn't find him hot, because he's like a twink. That's kind of why I thought you'd find him hot, to be honest, he's just a twink. I'm not I'm not that into twinks, actually. Uh, it feels like you are. Sometimes it really does. Because Phoenix Wright is a twink. Really? <laughs> I don't... I mean, he wears a suit, but he's not, like, ripped, you know? He doesn't really go to the gym. I mean, I'm gonna... Listen, I'm gonna bikes to work every day. <laughs> Have you... And also, Edgeworth is definitely a twink. He might be a, he might be a twunk. But he, he's one of those two. It's in between. He might go to the gym. I don't know. Anyway, enough about discussing who is a twink and who is not. That okay. is that is a video for another day. <laughs> Uh, okay, the actual last non-main character, Marshall's brother. What the fuck is his name? Oh my god. Um, something... Something... What? What is his name? Fuck. Death. Oh my god, what is his name? Because we actually know a lot about him, despite being a guy who was killed. Yeah, like, we know a lot. Yeah, like... It, it, what? He's also what really was his first cute. name? Damn, I actually don't remember. Oh my god, what is this? I don't fucking remember a goddamn thing. Oh my god. I'm so okay, sorry, we'll call cowboy, him. Man. We'll call him Cowboy Brother. That's his name. That's I'm his name so now. Sorry, Cowboy Brother. Alright, Cowboy Brother. Uh, firstly, let's just get this out of the way. He's attractive. Alright, now that. Cute. I don't want to go with that. Yeah. But we don't really know. We, we don't know so know... much about him. We. <laughs> I feel like we know more about, like, way more about him than we do any other, like, victim. murdered victim. That is true. Yeah, easily. Like, easily the most, without question. Like, he was, like, a talented prosecutor. Like, he, he had, like, yeah, he was a serial killer thing going for him. Like, he was trying his best. And then, then, then he got, he got, he got he, murdered. He was super hardworking. He's the reason that his brother wanted to be uh like like an investigator he was really driven he was a good fighter yeah like we know a lot like, about this guy compared to all the other victims you know, like he's a uh, i i like as him a, a lot as a result i'd like high b i'm not sure where in high b but i feel high not high b high c yeah not, not b yeah like I haven't seen. Oh my god, my bad. Um, where are you putting this man? Do you want to put him above Lada, maybe? Huh? Do you want to put him above Lada, maybe? Lada's way too alive and very much has a presence for me to do that to her. <laughs> way too alive. Damn, sis. Alright. Like, <laughs> I see like, how it is. I, I would feel bad putting a dead man in front of a girl who we still talk to every day. Like, I, I, would, um, like, I don't like Lada that much. Like, I would feel bad doing that to her. <laughs> do we want to put her above I'm, I'm okay with like, right below above Lada. I'm okay Cody. with that. Okay. All right, that works. All right, now for real this time, we get to the main characters. Okay, got it. Now, I feel like we have to set up something. Yes. For this specifically, because we are thinking of the main characters. 
We have to think about the main characters in terms of this game. We cannot think about any other interactions they have or we know about them. We have to strictly think, think about them in what we know and what we've seen of them in this game. I feel like that's fair because otherwise most of these guys are going to go in it. So what do you because they just what, have, are we, what are we not counting? We are not counting what we've seen Phoenix Wright act like what he has said and the cases he has done in Justice for All. We have to strictly think about what he has said, how he acts, and what we know about him from the first game exclusively. Okay, that won't be a problem for me because I have only played the first and second games. Wait, but, first? Yeah, I'm, this is the first I'm game. I'm saying Fuck. we ignore... Right. Okay. Yeah, but it's going to be hard for me to do that because I can't really separate the games in my head a lot. <laughs> Who the fuck is honking me? Huh? I'm hoping nobody's honking me. Cause somebody, I swear to God, somebody's honking me right now. We're gonna get a fucking what for. Uh, let us start then with someone who I feel like it'll be easier to differentiate between the two games. Yeah. The judge. The judge. The Where judge in this game. Icon? <laughs> the judge in this game. He is pretty funny, but he really starts hitting his stride in the fifth case and then in the second game and all the other games to come. Yeah, they because do really, wife, he gets I better in the he's, like he he's in the first game he's like, Oh, he's kinda incompetent, but uh He's kinda incompetent, he has some funny moments. He yeah, has but, some funny but, lines. Uh, oh, if we counted the second game, he would get a higher he would get a higher position, yeah. though. That's what I'm saying, right? Yeah, like, because, because the fucking circus case, like, this man was the highlight. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. This man, that entire cross-examination was so fucking funny, all thanks to this man. And that's why, and that's why I'm saying we do it this way, because yeah. otherwise, most of these main characters are going all the way into top tier. So and I feel like that's just not that interesting. Right, I feel where, like that's too often. Awesome. this absolute icon? Yeah. I I want to say we put him right below Marshall. Below Mar hmm. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, that's I completely agree because he's fucking iconic, but also no one beats my cowboy. I have I know one yeah, beats my no, fucking cowboy. Nobody beats, it. Nobody in if we were beats my ta- beats my cowboy. If we were thinking about the judge in terms of all the games he's in. Bye, Marshall. Hasta la vista, baby. Well, yeah, but, so long. But, but for first game, for the for the first game, man cannot beat the cowboy. Man cannot beat the cowboy. He's close. He's real close yeah, because in the close. fifth game, he's fifth game, really I good. I start feeling real bad for the guy. Yeah, I. Oh, we're we're gonna get there. I feel like Damon Gant's gonna be an interesting discussion. Oh yeah. We will leave him for we will leave him for later. Okay. Oh my god, I completely forgot about fucking uh oh, ho, 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 uh like like a spring lemon or something, man. He's like a guy. A spring lemon. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like I don't a... know what he says. I forgot. I forgot what he says. Uh... I forgot. Okay, leave me alone. Right. Okay, I forgot. I, I genuinely forgot he was in the list. This isn't a bit. Oh, he's not very. <laughs> he's not very noticeable, huh? All right, what would put? Yeah, he's just kind of there. He helps. He helps like more than I'd ever expect him to. But you know, he's just kind of a guy, yeah, an old guy. He's who was just there to move the health plot along. Problem. Yeah, he's just there to move the plot yeah. along. I I do agree. And, and, and when they try to be funny with him, it doesn't really work. Because yeah, the all they can think of is, oh, 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 my gastrointestinal system or something. I don't fucking remember. The jokes don't land, but uh, but he is helpful. And he's not too... He, he's helpful. He's helpful. That's like... But he feels like ex- a tool. Like, there's nothing there. Yeah. The only funny joke know, we got out of this man was the. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Uh, Which one? I'm sorry. Was the was the why does why does red white have you painting and Phoenix red and Phoenix gives you two are lovers and he's like no no you missed the mark no that's I'm being blackmailed. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh my that's god, I forgot about joke, that. But it is a really good joke. It is a really good joke. On the basis of that joke, I want to put him right next to red white because it's funny. Above or below? Where are we where are we putting this man? Above because he's more helpful. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, that is true. But realistically, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, he is helpful. So we we do be putting them there. Good for them. We do. Be... Anyway. <laughs> All right. Now we actually, for real this time, have only main characters. I promise. Okay. I I swear to God. All right. Yes. All right. Larry is the only one you could consider maybe not a main character, but I'd call that Cap. He is a main character in my goddamn heart, okay? Speaking of Larry, let's do him. I love Larry. A tier. I don't know where, but A tier. A tier where, though? Do, do we put him above I... or below powers is my question. <sighs> that is, is such hard. a good question. This is hard. This is, like, real difficult. Because, like, Powers think... is so fucking nice and helpful, but Larry is kind of helpful is nice. sometimes. Um, Powers is nice, he's helpful, he's really funny. Larry is... is... He, has, he has some of the best, like, facial expressions in the game, Powers does. He's an incredibly lovable guy. Larry is... He's just a good Larry. Dude. Larry is a man who sure does exist. How he exists. <laughs> he, he sure is one of the characters of all time. And, and, uh, and honestly, the, the guy who saved your ass more than anyone else in this game. Let's just be entirely honest. Yeah, like he... He's... There's nothing going on in his head. So he's either incredibly unhelpful for, or like the most helpful. There, he, he goes from like 0 to 100 real fast. <laughs> no in between with this man. Oh my god, I don't know. He either they causes, both have... he causes all problems, but also is the solution to so many problems he wouldn't think about. He, 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 when something smells, it's always the butts, but at the same time, but at the same time, when something smells, call the butts, baby. Where are we putting this man? Gotta... I feel like I feel like putting him anywhere below or above um, powers is indistinguishable, and I'll tell you why. Because they are the two opposites of the himbo coin. So true. You're so right. And also, they're they're like they say they, they are the the guy, the yellow guy in the trio. Fucking yeah, they're the yellow guy. You know, yellow man from yellow. <laughs> to that guy. Yeah. Oh, we gotta watch. Fucking... We gotta watch the fucking stage play. Fucking. Because... We'll get there. Uh... We'll get there. Okay, I okay, promise, no, no, honey. Get at, okay, at. okay. Okay. Moving on. All right. So we agree that it doesn't matter if we put them above or below powers because yeah. they are equal. They are equal. They hold the hippo spot. Yeah. All right. Beautiful. Gumshoe. Oh, love this oh God, man jumps. with all my heart. With with all of my soul, I love this man. This but I but I'm not sure where to put him in terms of this game specifically. I completely true, don't know. Like like only in like the last case does he like come around, and you realize oh that's it, what, no, what kind no, of person he is. I feel like in the fourth case he's really good too. Fourth and fifth. Both yeah, like, because like, you don't like realize really what kind of guy he is until the very fourth case, because that's when he starts actually talking to you. Like, before that, he, yeah, because... like, he's just, like, considered, oh, this guy keeps getting in our way because he's on the opposite side. But then around the fourth case, kind of... like... You learn that he's, like, one of the hardest working like... foil men you'll ever meet in your life. Yeah, like, only in case four do you actually start to find out what kind of person he is so it's like damn and, and, and once you help him he's your bro he, he he still he still uh gets 
gets in your way a lot, but not because he wants to. It's just because it's his job. He still helps yeah. you so much. Do we? Because where do like, we put him? A no. like top. Where do we put him? Okay. Do we want to make? The himbo duo, a himbo trio, because honestly, he's also a himbo. Yeah, we gotta. He's... We're putting him right here. And that's fair. Honestly, yeah, because his his parts in part four and five are so fucking good. They yeah, they are that, supreme. That they, yeah, that they outweigh one, two, and three. They're so true. All right. Now here's now here's gonna be an interesting one. Phoenix Wright, judging him from the first game. I gotta think on this one. I, I gotta oh. start thinking. I gotta think on this one. Because uh, the second case is a lot of heavy lifting for me. I, I gotta oh. in, in the first game, what do we really know about him besides why he became a lawyer? He still what else has, do like, he's still know? very likable. Like Because in the first game, he's very much yeah. like self-insert. Like you are this man. Yeah. He's self he's self insert. We know we know a lot about Mia and their relationship, obviously. But that's kind of Mia doing all the heavy lifting too, isn't it? When you yeah, really think really, about it. There's really no personality in him in game one, apart from like he's a really good guy, and that's about it. He's a good guy. He can be pretty funny on occasion. He's He's also very loyal. He, it's the start of his journey, so obviously he's not going to have that much development. Yeah, they so don't, I want they don't really to really try to put... They don't really try I, to flesh him I, out as a character. They try to make him as relatable as possible, and that's about it. I kind of want to, as a result of that, give him some slack. Because it makes sense why they did the thing that they did with him. Yeah. It's so that once... Once, once you relate with him, everything else hurts so much fucking more. Where are we putting this man? Because he's... I don't know. I generally don't know either, because, like, I love this man. You know, you know I love this man. Like, he is, he is my favorite character of all time. But I don't... But, like, case I don't. I don't want to... Like, damn... I, d I, d I don't I don't want to cop out and make, and make a tear exclusively for him. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to do that. You know, like, you know, like, you know, I feel like that's the easiest option. Fucking I don't want to do that. Well, let's do, let's do so, the other ones first, and then let's put him, like, so we have others to compare him to. Let's do all the other yeah, ones we'll first. Yeah, we'll, we'll get back to him. Also, I'm almost at my therapist appointment. We might to, we will have to save this until after my third disappointment. I will be back right after though. Yeah, all right. Hopefully you'll still be around because it's because my third disappointments are an hour long. Oh, all right. I, I I'll probably be I'll probably still be away. Alright. Groovy. Hopefully we can get this done then. Um uh, let's do Emma. I love her. I love her. I love Emma. She's she's she, a sweetheart. Alright. I love her so much, but at the same time, she can get a tiny itsy bitsy little bit obnoxious in the, in, in 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 this game specifically. I I don't I don't I don't like characters with catchphrases. That's my thing. I don't I don't like characters with catchphrases. I don't I don't like Cody's. I don't like hers. I like hers more, but I don't like hers that much. That is my thing. Where is that her, is... Where, what's, what's your opinion? Where are we putting her then? Oh, she's you? still A. Yeah, definitely. Let, 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 let. Obviously, she's still A, but honestly, I'd put her in between the um, himbo trio. Not because I like her more than any of the himbo trio, but because just... Oh, no, I might not be able to... Huh? Excuse me, sir. Please let me in this lane. I'm begging you. My crops. Thank you. Sorry. I'm I'm lane shifting here. I, I had to move out of the way for construction. Oh, oh, oh. Um. Yeah, I apologize. Driving. Um. I it's not because know. I like her more than the Himbo Trio. It's because she is so fucking well written that I I simply can't. Just on in terms of like 
pure artistic skill. I'm putting her right above the himbos. Is that alright? That is that. That is fine. I am okay with this. Yeah, I and like now Lana. Better because she's Lana. It, Lana. Lana. Oh my God, Lana. Lana gives me make, damn the angst. Damn. The Damn. angst, Damn but angst. also, but but she's also not pure angst. She is genuinely so fucking invested, and she breaks that facade. And when she breaks it, it is fucking raw. She bites off her fingernail. Man, you man, see the man, blood. Man, man. Just, just the, the one. The, oh God, it's so. The whole. It's the raw. writing is immaculate. It's so robber, and that's such shame because part because fifth fifth case is so fucking long. I know it's so long, but it's so fucking good. It's worth it. It's so good. It's so good, but I'm it's so, so long. Glad you made me play it. I'm so glad. No, I'm so glad I forced you to what play it with me because you were like, we can skip this one. You know, it's it's pretty long and it's really long and it's kind of mid. And I was like. No, we're playing every Ace Attorney content we can find. And, and I really came out of it with a, be with a way better opinion than I came into it with, but I still feel like it can be a slog sometimes. I yeah, really true. do. There are some bits that are like, what the fuck am I doing? But then the cowboy appears again, and you're like, yeah, this man. That's you, honey. That's me. I receive serotonin every time I see his sprites. The good, every time you the see that man's face, it's like, Beautiful. Love him. I do love him too, for the record. My personal yeah. serotonin kick is from Damon Gant. I love I, I love my villains. Uh, I love my good. villains, I'm or sorry. Lana. Oh my god. Do we want to put her right next to Emma? Yeah, I think I might... Fucking... I put yeah, her above. I, I was gonna say, I yeah, I'm putting her right there. I... I really like Mia, but she really do just be dead. Damn. She 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 gets so much more in the third game. Oh, the third game. I Stop can't wait. Stop scaring right. me. I, I am terrified. You should be. All right, let's start with Maya. I mean, is there any is there even any deliberation? Yeah, no, not really. Do we? We just gotta. Do we even? This. Yeah, the it's it's like we we know like we know. Next, we know. Next, carry on, carry on, <laughs> carry on, Sigurdsson. No, nothing to have a deep long nothing conversation to see here. about. No, nothing to see here, folks. All right, uh, Edward. Hmm. Edward is our next combatant. Hmm. How thoughts. do you feel about Edgeworth? Uh, my thoughts are as follows. Damn, bro, you sure are pressed. Yeah. <laughs> I meant more like where, which tier you're putting him in, but uh, that, that works too. Uh, what tier? I mean, obviously he's somewhere in A tier. Let's just be frank with. Let's let's, let's let's be frank here. He does he he does not reach the power of Maya. Yeah, obviously. No, I do not think anybody is going to. Yeah, Maya is. I. Yeah, obviously. Maya's baby. There is nothing more that needs to be said on that one, but. Where we put Edgeworth in A is a question because he's really well written. Yeah, and like well he he is like the like driving force behind the first game. Yeah, yeah, he he is the antagonist that later turns out to not be that bad, and then the real antagonist shows up in the form of a man who. Killed my throat. Uh, are you are you still recording in the car right now? Yes. Yeah, I can hear a lot of background noise. Uh. 
Uh, is that better? Yeah, I think. Uh, we, we, okay, he doesn't... I mean, considering... Okay, where's your opinion? You said A, right? Yes. I would put him personally in between Gumshoe and Emma. Wow, okay. Um... Look. I'm biased. I, I, I like I like Gumshoe and Emma a lot. I just I just like their character types. Edgeworth I also really like a lot. I I'm just like really invested in his just the just the the angst. I, I get it. I, I get it. I am too. Like don't get me wrong on that. Um But it is but it is solely he is being held back by my biases. I honestly like personally for me he's S tier because like I he's one of the most like investing characters. Like if you want to put him in S tier, I'm not gonna stop you. Yeah, but I'm just, I'm gonna listen to your opinion. As... Can we put him like below Mia is like an okay thought for me? Sure. Oh, that's fine. I really don't need I really don't need any kind of compromise on this one because He's not gonna go above Maya, so I don't care. Yeah, obviously, but uh. And the only reason, and the only reason I'm putting him where I'm putting him is just because he doesn't appeal to me as much as the other two. Uh, other two being where I was gonna put him in the first place. Uh. So really, if you want to put him in S. I do. I really do. <laughs> I'm putting him up there. Go ahead. The amount of uh, fucking investment that the first game managed to, like, the amount of emotional investment that Case 4 got me, like, into, along with Case 5, like, like they did a great job. Personally, they got me hooked. That's entirely fair. And then, like, the Our... second game, he doesn't fucking appear at all until, like, I haven't seen him in the second game, like, appear in person yet, so, like, like, the first game is doing all the heavy lifting for me, but, like, I'm already this much invested in the man, so that's gotta count for something. Completely fair. Um. Now, let's do a man who killed my fucking throat. Odd motherfucking karma. Icon. Absolute fucking icon. Best villain on God. Of course I'm the best villain in Phoenix Wright. God, is, is, he is just so fucking iconic. Like, is is there any way to put this man in a tier? Like, where do we, how do we, how do we even measure? Where do we put this guy? I... Fucking icon, honestly. Put him above Edgeworth. Yeah, I, he he really is fucking iconic, honestly. Like, I... Just, like, as a character, this man's a fucking icon. Like, uh, he, he is the root of all evils. He, he, he's he committed he is every crime. Every single one. Yeah, uh, he has broken every law in existence. Even the one that is physically impossible for him to break. He broke them anyway. Yeah, he, he broke the laws of physics. Because he's Manfred motherfucking Von Karma, bitch. So true. Uh, yeah, I mean, Edgeworth is an icon in and of himself, but... Yeah, I mean, he's like, I... like yeah, we get it, he's like a cool character, like, yeah, 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 but like... Well, come on, the man's a fuck. like, come on, he's the root of all evil. He is an actual monster. <laughs> In the room, you have Manfred and Maya are the two iconic characters of this game. The parrot also counts as an icon, but for completely yeah, different for reasons. Completely different reasons. But now we go on to Damon Gant, who I believe is going to be the most interesting discussion we have. I don't know where. I genuinely don't know. Um... I put him in S. Because he's he's he is a great villain, honestly. 
He's a great villain. Of course, I love any. I, I love any. I love any character that has a good interaction with the judge because I love the judge so much. I like he is such a. He has such a like imposing force. Like he's such a well-made villain. Like he was just like he looks. He's he just looks there for like for one fucking DLC case, but he's so impactful. He looks goofy a little bit the first time you meet him, and then there's that one break, and it's like, holy fuck, okay, sir, whatever you say, please don't hurt me. Like, he's, he is terrifying on, like, a... I love, I love his motive, I love how he interacts with Edgeworth, I love how he interacts with Bright. Oh, he's, he's a fucking, a fucking icon of a villain, like, such a well-made villain. Um, and, and and he may have and he may have did it by complete accident, but he was very deliberate. He was quite intelligent about how he did it. He's a he's a powerful, scary man. I I don't. I'm wondering if I can put him in S though. Like he he really was only there for one case, and that's kind of it. Here's what I think. Like my my big opinion of yeah. him. He is a uh, the the woman with the mafia ties. What the fuck's her name again? Oh yeah, yeah, the Vasquez. Yeah, like she, if, she is if, if he did a good job with her. It it would have gotten to this level. Yeah, the Vasquez done right. Done so fucking right. I listen. I kind of wanted thought... to put him like right above Lana, because like, I, I don't see it going as tier. Like, because he, he really was only in one case, and... Okay, here's here, here's what I propose we do. We put Mia in S, and we put Gant at the top of A. Okay, that's a, that's a good, that's a good idea. Like, I completely get that, yeah. Smart, smart. Because it's iconic. But in this game, she's not as iconic as she's gonna get. But she's still super fucking good. Baby Gates is in this one game. Yeah. And but he he's is fucking, fucking icon. He's so good. His writing is so good. Yeah, Bayer his writing. Poses, his, yeah, his everything is perfect. Art, oh, some God. of the best. Like, incredible. Like, this sprite art. Yeah. This sprite art is some of the best in that game. His, his his facial animations and expressions are so varied and they 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 encompass him so perfectly. Yeah, he's a completely and like, he he's a completely like perfected game, character. If he appeared in one more game, he would be so much more of an icon, but he's not gonna. And that's how it should stay. Yeah, but like, they, it, they, it's a they, they on him, are not, not dragging him like too long, but like it, it is it is what it is. He's a great villain. It is what it is. Precisely. All right. Now, then. Now, where do you think... He... Okay, now we actually have, like, a like a whole chart to compare him to, so it's going to be a bit more easier. Uh... Hmm. I'm thinking. I don't know. I... Maybe in the middle of... A? <laughs> He's still like, the protagonist, and he is. I. Yeah, but does he have as much characterization as even the judge does? I say he does. He he really does like have characterization in the way he thinks, and the way he interacts. Okay. With us. I really like even do we want... in the first game. Oh, he still I... is an incredibly oh. lovable guy. We should we should put him as the new order between A and S. He's like the top of A. Or no, the top of B. I'm having a fucking stroke. Oh my god. I'm listen, I I can, I really I don't know what to think. Hmm. Because I honestly, it's in the first game, the thing is, like, even Mia in the first game, she does not get that much screen time. But we still put her in as. 
but yeah, but she but she has so much of an impact on you, and as an extension on Phoenix, that it kind of like kind of kind of like overpowers the character of Phoenix because he is supposed to be a relatable person. He's not as much of his own character. There's still a good chunk of his own character to him, but it but in the first game, he is more of a self insert. So Mia hits you more than it probably hits Phoenix. I hmm. All right, my take he's is still a... that he should be at least above Mia, is my opinion. That that is as low as I am willing to go with this man. Above Mia, really? Yeah, yeah, that is. I'm listen. I am. I this is. I am incredibly biased on this one. So you can you can tell hey. me down as much as you want. You no, I get it. I get it. I I put my biases plenty into the ratings. You put yours in, girl. Honestly, yeah, this is as you... low as I'm willing to go with Phoenix, right? Even in like just the first game, because yeah. he's an girl? incredibly you... well done protagonist, like like self insert protagonist. Yes. There's so many like self insert like, uh, like there are like so many games which are like visual novel like self insert protagonists or, or like that's it's a whole thing, but like I think this is the most likable like. One ever created <laughs> that I've come across. Oh. oh, I can't wait to make you play Steins Gate at some point. Oh boy. Well, as so far, I just really like like even in the first game, I think he's really well done. So yeah, this is the That's fair. comprehensive list. Incredible. All right, now on to justice. That's that's the second game, right? Justice for all. I'm not stupid. Yeah, Trials and Tribulations is the third game. Justice for all is the second game. Yep. Right. Mm-hmm. That's right, right? Yes. Okay, thank God. I, 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 I get the titles wrong all the time. I love how we have the J tier of people we don't die. <laughs> Just two die. people and there die. And then we have Polly, die. our lord and savior, our overlord, Polly. All, all hail Polly. Incredible. All right. 